Hello, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is a video tutorial for the new Boston. Now in this video we're going to be looking at our php.ini file. Now INI, INI files or INI files, whatever you decide to, however you decide to pronounce them, I say INI just because I'm being literal and um, saying each character. Um, is basically a configuration file so you know that as soon as we see the file php.ini we automatically know that this is a PHP configuration file now what is our configuration file our PHP configuration file and where can we find it now I've opened my text editor here so I can open this file and we can have a look through at some of the uh, features inside it and how we can change things uh, about our PHP installation so you can have a good look at this maybe print it out take it around with you look at different things because it's really useful to get to know um, inside of your php.ini file because a lot of PHP problems that you'll later realize when you're coding actually come down to the settings in your php.ini file so let's um, create an open dialog well open up an open dialog now you can see that at the moment I'm in c colon backslash xamp backslash PHP now this is because I have I'm running an XAMPP um, package you can see here I've got my XAMPP control panel open and I've got Apache uh, MySQL running blah 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 this is just my um, this is just my uh, package that I've installed that contains Apache uh, along with PHP installed with Apache so this is our folder with PHP and it's got all the information um, and uh, the uh, runtime DLLs um, about um, with regards to our PHP installation. Now obviously the file we want is, let's just find it, it would be here, is php.ini. So this is the typical location depending on whether you've installed PHP yourself, if you've installed Apache and PHP yourself, or if you're using a package such as XAMPP, LAMPP, um, some of the others ones we've got WAMP I think so uh, let's go ahead and just open up our PHP.ini now obviously if you are having trouble finding this you can just do a local search on your computer just make sure it looks like it's in a, a, a sort of relative location to your local web server okay so when we open up this file you notice that we have a warning and a bit about php.ini now this is very important by default PHP installs itself with a configuration suitable for development purposes and not for production purposes now what this means is the PHP the default installation uh, php.ini is not suitable for when you were to if you were to say okay so I've got a local web server on my uh, on my computer um, here's my IP address you can see what pages I'm running always 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 when you want to show people or release PHP uh, files or a project that you've created always upload it to a paid hosting or a free hosting but some kind of commercial hosting website because what you don't want is you don't want to have the inexperience of not setting this file up properly and uh, you suffering for that so there's lots of security aspects that when we enable settings and disable all settings in uh, this php.ini file we tend to find that we're allowing ourselves vulnerability so we can go down you can see um, the standard syntax in here is that we've got the um, semicolon as a um, as end of a line so well as a comment in in this purpose so you can see that we've got loads of se uh, semicolons here that are basically just commenting this out so this won't be processed by um, by PHP so let's go down and find a setting um, okay so you can see that things like engine on is not commented out so these are file, these are um, settings that are currently in use and that you can modify so let's go down and find something that um, we might change okay so you've got things like zlib.output compression off you've got a uh, quite a descriptive uh, description up here quite an extensive description of what it does as with you do with most settings so you'll find that a lot of this file um, is um, is actually description so we're not going to change any settings now we'll leave that till later when we need to uh, we're going to talk about things like error handling and how we can uh, change this inside our php.ini file um, just one more note is um, when you make a modif modification to php.ini if you were to say uh, print this out and go through and read it and uh, you might get to a stage in your uh, programming where you know that you want to change a value now once you've changed a value and you've saved the file so you go file and save that's absolutely fine however what you need to do is you need to either restart Apache manually or you need to bring up 
uh, your XAMPP or similar control panel and stop this service before you restart it. So for example, if I was to change something in here, so if I was to change this value for any reason, I can then op I should then, sorry, open up my XAMPP or other control panel and I stop the service, simply stop the service that again okay so the service is the service is now stopped we can click start again wait till that starts back up and it's running again now what we've done is PHP has taken into account the changes that you've made and will now process them according to what you've written so my strong recommendation will be to have a look through this see if anything catches your eye get to know um, different values and what they do and, and read some of the descriptions if you have time because it's a really really useful file to know what you're doing with um, a lot of PHP problems that crop up like I said are to do with files uh, or to do the values in this uh, either being disabled or enabled or switched to something uh, that not allowing a certain piece of code that you're using or sort of method you're using on your website uh, or code not to work so php.ini file is basically the PHP configuration file for PHP um, have a browse around it and hopefully it will be of some use to you in the future